Hi there, my name is Sabrina Barrios. I'm a Brazilian multimedia visual artist and I divide my year um, in between New York, Brooklyn, New York and Rio here in Brazil. I'm in Brazil right now during the pandemic and the reason why I've been coming back is because I feel like I can help more in here and help communities. I can actually apply my art into what's going on in real life to be a voice for those who are often ignored. And uh, my, my practice is really, it starts with uh, research, with a lot of studies, because my work questions what we understand as reality. Being that whatever we learned in school, then now we have more knowledge to actually question that. Uh, being the fact that history has been written by its victors. So it's part of my process to study that part from the point of view of uh, those who didn't necessarily write that knowledge in books. So I navigate uh, into communities and tribes and uh, collecting all of that knowledge that we once have had as human race. And then I gather all of that and translate it into art, basically. And uh, a lot of my art is participatory, so it, I depend on the viewer to actually engage in the site-specific installation, for instance but the site-specific installation is often created in that space for that community um, and it's speaking directly to that community. Therefore, the work's more relevant, right? And then this kind of work is ephemeral. It only exists in that context and then it no longer exists except for photographs. But photographs don't really make justice. Um, you can compare them to the actual experience, right? I'm also a painter, um, I do a lot of two-dimensional work, three-dimensional work as well as sculptures and I do videos because it's like uh, several points of view, uh, several perspectives if you may, um, looking at the same issue, that's how I see my work, it's like I, I will investigate it through as many lens as I, as I can really and then I create a work of art to share um, what I've learned or what I've lived, right, experience through the act of putting myself into other people's shoes or other cultures for that matter. Um, and just to finalize, I wanted to talk about what I'm working on right now and I'm really focusing on gathering the information that is out there about this pandemic and about the fact that that's changing how um, we see each other as nations, as humans, because that that uh, virus is affecting only the human race, right? Not nature herself. Um, some even say that this is us giving mother nature its time because we're hurting it so much. So I'm gathering all the information and that's when my sketches come to life because my sketches are really uh, all the information that I'm gathering and putting down in the paper so I remember later or I'm creating um, what I believe can be relevant site-specific installations but I can go outside so they won't exist uh, outside of that, that 2D drawing. Um, although I'm really really interested in using the art as an instrument for for change even if the change comes from inspiring someone else um, in times like that I think who knows what an inspired person is capable of right so uh, I really see the art as um, something that lifts one's spirit as well and again is the role of the artist to be relevant right now because what's happening to earth and to us is really, really serious. Art is a way of gathering us all together and speaking up because it's relevant to us all what's happening.